Um, Jamie here from the NOIC Godcast, where we offer Wacky Wisdom Weekly from God's Word. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about how we can follow through with our faith. So I think that we can all agree that as humans, we have a really hard time trusting like anything. Um, When we go to any fast food restaurants, uh, especially their drive throughs what's the first thing that you say to your passenger as you, you know, shut the car window? You're like, have a good day. You're like, check the bag. (laughs) Honestly, no, I don't even check anymore. I just pull in expecting disappointment. You're just like, the Lord knows what I need. (laughs) Order blindly. No. Like I he just pull starts in, walking on the inside I already. Pull into the party about expecting to be disappointed. Yep. Like I don't even expect them to get it right, even after asking, like, no. It's just Should you take wrong. it back if it's right? No. Like, yeah. you did mess up. Excuse me. I was expecting extra burgers. <laughs> but because we know that they're why didn't you just assume it was burgers? <laughs> Always Could be Taco Bell, that's wrong. I mean, what if you were expecting burgers from Taco Bell? <laughs> <to Taco Bell? laughs> then you are You're the problem. The place, yeah. <laughs> Man. But like, Jenny actually did that. This is still, total side okay. Jenny actually did that once. I ordered I a pizza for us, and she went to the wrong pizza place to pick it up. <gasps> and she argued with them, so they gave her free pizza. All the while, our pizza that we didn't pay for I was at the other that. place. It was like East of Chicago yeah. and, and Marcos. Marcos, I think. And yeah, she went to know. one, convinced. And th- they're like, oh, we're so sorry, ma'am. Give us a free pizza. And then wow. kind of find out we stole it because we ordered a pizza somewhere else. When I... Uh, was a shift manager at McDonald's. Like, whenever someone came in with mm-hmm. a bag, all the other managers would just, like, instantly, like, oh, i got to turn my back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, I feel that I as a customer. That. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Like, I, I, I just think back. you were trained that way. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just... No, then they all just turn their back. And they just was... really want to catch up. You know what I mean? They didn't need anything. They just <laughs> no, want to catch up. Exactly. Just catch up. Yeah, so, I, I mean. just wanted to say thanks for the burger. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's no American getting out of their car to come say no, thank you. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But we know that they're so notorious for getting the food wrong, like either the completely wrong order or they put like nothing in there that was actually yours to begin with. And so, you know, and that makes sense. And that's okay to like not trust them because like they're strangers. Their reputation has yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. Yeah. work at McDonald's. They work at Let's McDonald's. Let's all just be honest where they're working. They're, they're working, working at McDonald's. <laughs> and so like they don't care about you. They don't care about your that's nutrition. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they are just there to get a paycheck. And so wow. really that. But how- that was mean. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention I'd call really me piling on <laughs> fast food workers? Like, Listen, I worked fast food. I loved food service. Is it fast food? Is the I mean fast it was food? mediocre speed, it's but like it's like slow. Fast. Slow food. It wasn't sit down. Yeah, medium. It wasn't sit down. It so therefore, medium. I Unless Linda was there, then it was sit down because she'd tell them to go sit at the table. I feel and she'd like bring we're it getting to distracted. Oh, you yes. shouldn't talk about food in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, going through the drive thru at the McDonald's in Bellevue. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. And they had like a, a big plastic turtle on top of their like machine thingy. I don't know uh-huh. what machine it was. And I was like, what is that turtle there for? And she goes, because we have the drawers. The slowest drive through times in our region. <laughs> <laughs> See, Bellevue, yes, that's no, right. But, that's funny. But when I was in, the, <laughs> that's great. When I was a shift manager, I was like, get it right versus get yeah. it fast. Yeah, See? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 true. That. I'd rather you know wait ten I mean? minutes if my food's right. Then Hot wait five minutes. Not ten minutes. Hot fries fire. are worth the time. Right. Yeah. yeah, that, exa- is, that yeah. needs to be on a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. But I was just thinking. like, Wow, you guys have to like That's cruel and unusual and like wonderful. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean that's motivation, I guess. I'm I'm trying to figure out how I can use it against our teams at camp. Ooh, like where can I put a turtle? A turtle. <laughs> yeah. A real I will think one, of like, a way. Like, like a, a tortoise. Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a bunch of turtles walking around <laughs> the camp. <campsite. laughs> but so that makes sense. You know, I mean, those are strangers. They don't care about you. They don't care about you your nutrition. Yeah, I know, but I'm yeah. trying to bring it back. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to fix whatever was just <laughs> try harder. And so, but like, have you ever been sitting on the couch <laughs> trying to find um, the remote to watch your show and you ask your spouse or loved one, are you sitting on the remote? And they say, nope. And this person that you have trusted your whole life this with. This sounds so personal. personal. Yeah. It does sound very <laughs> personal. You trusted your whole life with that you would die for, that they love you so much. 
you still be like, no, you need to stand up because I don't know <laughs> if it's not, but I don't know if it's underneath you or not. You don't trust them. It doesn't matter how it much was they in love your you. Pocket the whole time. <laughs> Tolkien usually shoves it under the couch. <laughs> it's usually under the couch, under a rug, so it's fine. But you don't even, you can't even trust the people that you love so dearly. To you know, they they don't have the remote, and it's usually under their butt. Though, let's be real honest here. But wait, is is that you not trusting them, or them being or, dumb? No, because <laughs> like I think in those situations, like you guys may say to a significant other, "Are you sitting on?" It? And they go, "No," and you're thinking, "Can you just check to make sure?" And like you're really not saying you are sitting on it, and I know it, mm-hmm. but you're more saying. Like, like for yourself, you know what I mean? Like I have never sat on a remote and not known it. Like, how's that possible? How do you I, not feel that? I like, am I missing something here? I've sat on Rachel and not known it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm TMI, too much. That's not, <laughs> Rachel's like, I noticed. I noticed. It's usually when we're trying to sit back down in the pew yeah. and everything's that's jumbled. Fair. That's fair. Okay. But a remote, like, I would feel that. I'm a little concerned about your loved ones. And then Rachel's usually like, I'm sitting here. <laughs> As I peel her off. Yes, yes. <laughs> honestly. That's the thing of you guys' problem. I don't it think is, that's honestly, most of America. I think that's an every best friend's problem. So you guys mm-hmm. don't have best friends, apparently. Um, but like we talked last week, um, to have audacity is to have faith in God. And to have faith in God, by definition, means that you completely trust God. And I would say that Christians as a whole would say they trust God completely. They would say it and that they're willing to... Uh, they're willing to understand that God's going to answer them in their prayer. But do we have the audacity to not only ask, but to follow through with the answer God gives us? Mm. So Matthew 14, 22 through 29 says, And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when the evening has was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves. For the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out in fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Now, if we stop the story right there, we would be like, wow, Peter was so audacious. He had so much faith that he asked Jesus to make him walk on water. And not only did Peter ask, he got the answer and then he stepped out of the boat onto the raging sea. So. I Yeah, I know. I've seen so and I'm like, I skipped it. I thought we were doing fine. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna it's not easy. <laughs> I was typing it on my phone. So oh, it's yeah, a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Wow. I mean, how many of us would have even done that much? How many of us would have asked that in the first place? I mean, I don't know about you, but like when I'm trying to identify somebody, I'm not like, hey, let me walk on the water. I need like a driver's license or like a birth certificate. <laughs> do you do that regularly? Yeah, like, who are you? But like, that's the thing. Strangers like, you just walk up to Jamie. Stop. <laughs> Two forms of ID, please. <laughs> like, I need a passport. No, you have no do, you, do you have like a bank statement with your address <laughs> yeah, on it? Exactly. But like, that's the thing is that Peter could have asked a bunch of questions that, you know, Jesus could have only known or anything. But Peter had faith that it was Jesus, that if it was Jesus, he would be able to make him walk on water. So the audacity, I, I don't know you're where good. you're going. You're good. you're good. We're trusting you, David. <laughs> uh, but Peter had the audacity to, like, yes, he, he wanted to go where Jesus was. He wanted yeah, to ask yeah, you, yeah. who are you? But he had the audacity to want to be near Jesus. Yes. But the, the audacious part was for him to ask God to get him to Jesus, yes. mm-hmm. regardless of what it took between here and there. Does yes. that make sense? And so yep. for our life spiritually, yep. like, I'm going to guess, like, folks, listen, if you see Jesus walking on water, don't. Um, he doesn't, he's not here. He's not going to do that. Like, that. no, don't. Like, don't believe it. Yep. You'll see. Yep. Um, but the fact is, spiritually, 
God does want us to draw near to Christ. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if we talked about last week or when we talked about, but draw near to God and he'll draw nigh to you. Ultimately, our goal is to be with him. Yeah. We need to be audacious enough to say, Lord, whatever stands between me and you, would you get me over that? Would you get yeah. me through that to be mm-hmm. near to you? If it's a sin, if it's a struggle, if it's a, a mentality, if it's mm-hmm. a habit, would you help me overcome that gulf that mm-hmm. separates us and help me to come to you? That's yeah. where we should be audaciously. I think it's actually easier to physically yeah. do it than it mm-hmm. is to say, like God, a- remove whatever it is. Like, I don't know what it is, yeah. God, but something's between us. Can yeah. you please remove that? And then he goes, it's that. And we're like, <gasps> Not that. Not that. <laughs> no, not that one. Put that thing back where I came from. So help me. Like, you're pointing you, to this, right? I didn't think you mean that, right? <laughs> Put it behind it. You know what I mean? So, like, it's, it's just like we're so limited yeah. in our understanding of God's ways. You, well, you know what and I, mean? I think that we're we're willing, like we've been talking about audacity this month, we're willing to be audacious when it's to our benefit, yes. but when it's going to yes. be painful and hurtful. Like yes. how many of us are willing to be audacious then? Yeah. We yeah. heard this morning in the message about, uh, actually in Sunday school and the message, about just Double whammy. God's out to get you. Like <laughs> yeah. he just wants to cut you away, rid you of you, like amen, that's the Bible. And yet how many of us are audacious enough to ask him to do that? Yeah. Not when it's to benefit, but when it's actually going to be very painful, yes. but ultimately draws near it's to Christ. It's funny how, how our minds work because, like, if I was to say to you, like, all right, Josh, like, whatever you need to remove from me, do it. But beforehand, I'm going to double check. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Okay. Like, anything that I really, really want, I'm not taking into this conversation. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's staying in my bedroom. Like, you won't have the option for that, you know? So, what? like, we may even... Like, we don't even ask God to do that until we're at a point Mm -hmm. where we think, you know what I mean? It's going to be something so minor. You know what I mean? Or or he's going to say, you did pretty good. Like, you know know what I mean? But it's always something, like, right in our face that we're just like, oh, that thing. I really do think that we believe that we're doing a pretty good job. Like, I really do believe when you bring something to God, you're like, I fixed most of this. I did most of this. Give me the gold star. Yeah, give me the gold star. (laughs) Or like, you can fix the little bit. Like, it's like when you hand something to an editor, you don't expect them to actually hand it back. Oh, they always do. They always do. But you're always like, they're going to think it's great. Do you know what I mean? And then Mm -hmm. you're like, they get the paper back. You're like, oh, I guess I had messed up a lot of that stuff, you know? (laughs) God just kind of takes your cotton bills in the trash. Yeah, he's like, that was dumb. (laughs) Quote, unquote. (laughs) I have to imagine. (laughs) That is said respectfully. (laughs) That's going to be our camp shirt next year. (laughs) That was dumb. That was dumb. Quotations. God. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of camp shirts. We we are, y'all. This has nothing to do with this, but have you ever seen the, um, obviously it's a scam. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a Bible out there and it says signed copy. Yeah. (laughs) What? I'm like, um, I don't think that means what you think it means. But anyway, so we're actually going to finish on because I know that, you know, ending the story there would be like, oh, yeah, this is a good thing. But we're going to have to continue because God gave us the rest of the story. Uh, Matthew 14, 30 through 33 says, but when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come unto the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. Peter had the audacity to ask, to take the step, but failed to follow through. How many times in our lives have we prayed and prayed for God to give us an answer? And when we finally get that answer, we trust God and we take that first step towards him. But once we take that step out, we see all the things stacked up against us. And suddenly all the audacity that we had in asking and taking the step completely vanish. We start to wonder if we can even trust God. And just like Peter, as soon as we realize that we're sinking, we cry out to God for help. And he reaches down and grabs us and asks us, why did you doubt in the first place? And I actually wanted to bring up the point you were talking about. It's the getting there. Like you see Jesus and you are trying to get there. That's the audacious that you want to be no matter what's the Mm in-between. I think a lot of times it's easier to say that when you're looking at the problem. Like when you see like Peter's seen the storm. Before he asked, he's seen that, you know, this between here and here, there's a lot of this, but he didn't doubt until he was in the middle of it. And so it wasn't the fact of the storm itself 
on a whole view. Oh, like I know I need to get through that storm. It's the once you're in the middle and you don't have anything else to hang on to. He had to let go of the boat to be able to get to Jesus. And so he didn't have the whole like, let me just hang on here and then walk out here. Yeah. Jesus was too far. Right. He had to completely let go of the ship to be able to walk that way. And so I think that's where we actually fail is we think, oh, that problem doesn't seem that big until you're right in the middle of it. And then you're like, oh, yeah, that's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, there are a lot of unknowns in life. But we serve a God that sees everything from beginning to end continually. He doesn't see the parts one at a time and has to remind himself of what's going on. He sees everything all going on at the exact same time. We can trust God that he is not only going to give us the answer, but give us the ability to fulfill the answer. Mm, good stuff. God calls us to be audacious. Be audacious from start to finish. That is so hard now. It is. Does anybody have anything fun to say? Fun? No? Okay. So my considerable quote, I'm sure somebody said it. <laughs> <laughs> always. It's always. I always presume that, don't The you? funny thing is, is that I always assume somebody says it, but it's never marked at the bottom. So like, I just don't. I'm sure somebody said this somewhere. Faith is not believing in my own unshakable belief. Faith is believing in unshakable God when everything in me trembles and quakes. And then my featured content today is Revelation by Third Day. It's an oldie. It is an oldie. It's like. Way back there. I actually just heard it, um, was it yesterday or the day before? And I actually hadn't even wrote it down on here because I was waiting for something on there. I'm like, yep, nope, that's the one that's good. Coop loop, right in there. Coop loop. End quote. <laughs> you guys are definitely best friends. <laughs> yeah, we are. You should you speak out your details. Tell me I'm wrong. Sound <laughs> effects file. You use that one again? Yep. Okay. Yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> trivia. We did some. Was it you? There was an answer. Yeah, that's a good one. And oh, it was um, how many is something in yeah, the Bible? <laughs> no one got it right, and we'll just leave it at that. Wow. He told me, mumba, mumba. <laughs> I used to just remember. She can't read lips. <laughs> I can't read lips. <laughs> Could you say to the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> so, no trivia. Then, Congratulations. So, the trivia for this week. When is the fourth watch of the night? I think the answer was 133. But I'm not super positive. For the fourth um, watch, for this one. No. For how many times? You the could word, look it up. I don't even know what the word was that we were looking for. Was it? How many times the word something was in the New Testament? Okay, ask. You. Is it ask? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Wow, that's a lot of birthdays. It's a lot of birthdays. Mine's not on there. <laughs> it is yeah, it now. Is. No. Yeah, oh, it CJ is. put it on there. Oh. See how there's missing one? Because oh, they're all the same. Mm -hmm. uh, CJ's doing it. Dun, 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 so dun, 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 the one that looks different than the other answers. It wasn't supposed to be that way, but <laughs> yes. I don't know what happened. Like, yes, 133. Ass. I'm not crazy. I was right. So the answer is A, A. 133. Good, good. Okay, now we continue to good. this week. So when is the fourth watch of the night? A, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. B, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. C, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. Or D, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Don't say anything. I gasps. I, I, okay. Don't say anything. All right. You, I mean, you said the fourth watch and their fourth four choices. So. But that doesn't mean they're in the right order. But you did put them. You can't say things. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, so birthday announcements this week are Haley Parsons, Paul Moore, Kinsley Kraminski, Jamie Moore, which was not Ooh. on their original. Happy birthday, Jamie. Yeah. Happy birthday, Jamie. It, it's. You weren't supposed to clap for yourself. Yeah, that was a little bit. It's a little audacious of you. I was, I was being audacious. I was told to be audacious. <laughs> um, Peyton Durfee, which we actually have the same birthday. Um, let's see here. Reagan, is it? Bistlin. Bistlin. Uh, Renee Rose. I'm going to say Javi. 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 It's, it's Francisco, but Javi. 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 Javi Barbosa. Maria Vargas. Addison Mills. Owen Steinmez. Jordan Antler. And I think that's it. Yep. That's and, the and then the mailroom. And then the mailroom. Happy birthday. I, I couldn't tell if he, when he put the thing in, if no. it dropped down. But yeah, no, I think that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to, to comment, subscribe, share. Um, like. Like. Please send us stuff. Yeah. We're lonely. We're very sad. Comment. Say something. Send us mail. Honestly, I want to paint the picture that like us four are just sitting by the mailbox every day. Like, that we're just like. They don't know that we're not. 
That's true. We could be. You don't know that. But thank you guys for joining this hot mess. (laughs) (laughs) And we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye, guys. I don't. I have not paid for any subscriptions. Well, we finally know who the sap sucker is at the table. <laughs> me, <laughs> me. I was the sucker of sap all along. along. I was the turkey. And along. there it is. CJ's already smiling. You're welcome. <laughs> I made it easy for you this week. Listen, I'm glad he wasn't recording whatever we were doing earlier. Yeah. We gave some good advice though. We did. We gave some really good advice.